Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel, All Things Taylor, just in time for a brand new Motivation Monday with your girl Taylor Hendricks. All right guys, so I am super stoked this week. I have some really good stuff to keep you guys motivated and going throughout your week and staying positive because as of, guys, positivity is so, so much a part of the equation for everything that you want to do, achieve, and be in life, okay? Um, that does not mean other emotions are not useful or not valid. All of your emotions are valid, okay? Being sad, there's a purpose. Being being not okay, it's okay to admit that you're not okay. Uh, being angry, all of these things, but do not let those emotions conquer you. You conquer those emotions, okay? All emotions are valid. Your feelings matter. They are valid, but do not let them control you and learn how to find a positive out of every negative thing, okay? Um, some things that may seem bad have a purpose that is good, okay? It's just a matter of how hard and how deep you're willing to dig to find that, you know, light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak. The, the light that, you know, you find when all other lights have gone out, okay? So this is what we're going to do. I want to share with you guys some stuff that I thought was very useful that I briefly discussed on my podcast for Motivation Monday this week. All right, so let's be real. We are all imperfect human beings, okay? Uh, but sometimes we get our ego so mixed up in so much stuff that we do. So let's learn to put our ego aside a little bit and have a healthy ego instead of an overvalued, overinflated ego. <laughs> Not everybody in this world is going to like you. Be okay with it because you don't like everybody in this world either. So why does everybody have to like you, but you don't have to like everybody else? Put your ego aside and learn to be more positive with your behavior, with your mind, with your words, with your environment, with your goals. All of it is connected for you to be the best version of yourself, your goals, and your life. Don't you deserve that? I think you do. Uh, the next one is for parents out there, for teachers out there, for, for people that have younger people in their lives, in their families, in their neighborhood, respect children. If you have children, respect your children. As a former teacher, I can, I can really attest to this. And as a, you know, uh, as an adult who has had to overcome a lot of childhood trauma, I am telling you, Respect your children. Do not condescend to children just because they are children. Respect your children because when they grow up someday to become us, basically the next generation of us, they're going to go out into the world knowing what it feels like to be respected and they're going to have a much lower, if not a zero tolerance policy for disrespect. Okay, when you teach your kids what it feels like to be respected and you show your kids respect, they're not going to have those insecurities when they go out into the world that make them vulnerable to, to being controlled and being manipulated and being taken advantage of. Teach your kids what respect feels like and respect your kids so then they can go out and show and respect other people and receive that in return and know what it feels like and not be fooled by fakeness, okay? Respect your children. The next thing I want to say is don't let imposter syndrome rule you. Do not let it hold you back from the goals that you have, the dreams that you have, and the person that you want to be, okay? We don't all start off at level 100. We start off at level zero. We pay a daily rent for the success, and we make it to level 100, okay? You know, uh, stop judging your level zero to level five versus somebody else's 100 to 1,000, okay? Do not let imposter syndrome hold you back. Shawn Michaels wasn't born Shawn Michaels, okay? That's like the perfect, like, instant thing that comes to my mind. We all have work to do. So do not let imposter syndrome rule the day for you to rule over your dreams and your goals. Your dreams and your goals should be unrealistic, but the plan that you make to achieve those goals and those dreams should be realistic. Learn what that means. Um, the next thing I want to say actually comes from the co-founder of Quest Nutrition and the author of Radical Confidence, Lisa Bulliam. I would love to have her on this on my podcast and this YouTube channel. Uh, she is absolutely amazing. And even though she does reference a lot of content for women, I think a lot of men could get a lot also out of what she says. And that's what I think is so appealing about her specifically. Um, she says, and I couldn't say it better myself, you do not need confidence to start new things. Remember, competence breeds confidence. And this is a very, a much more eloquent thing uh, or way of saying what I say all the time, which means don't be afraid to suck at something new. Okay. Life is about figuring out who you are and who you want to be in this world and being productive members of society. How can you do that? How can you become that if you're not, if you were too afraid to try new things and to suck at something new? 
you'll be surprised at how much you learn about yourself and the world and how much innate skills you actually possess deep down that you've been ignoring for so long. Don't you deserve those opportunities to prove that about yourself? And one of the last things I want to say uh, that also comes from Lisa is be a good person, but don't, don't waste time proving that you were a good person, okay? We talk about this a lot on this YouTube channel. People, when they already have their minds made up, that means they don't want their minds changed. You are never going to change their minds no matter what you say, what you do, how you act, what you look like, okay? People's minds will only be changed if they are willing and open to that. If they don't want their minds to be changed, then they won't, okay? Be okay with not everybody liking you. There are billions of people in the world. There's bound to be <laughs> some that don't like you. So worry about being a good person. Do not worry about proving that you are a good person. The right people will see that you are a good soul and they will gravitate towards you, okay? Do not let negative people try to force you to feel like you have to prove who you are, okay? The real people will hear you when you are quiet. They will see you when you feel like your light is dim, but to them, you're a beacon of burning light, okay? The right people will find you. Your vibe will attract your tribe. So be so focused on you and not trying to prove yourself to everybody else or judging anybody else. Be focused on you. All right, everybody, this was the latest Motivation Monday. I hope you guys got as much out of it as I did. These are some of my favorite segments that we do on this YouTube channel. And it makes me so jazzed to go out and do all the things that I want to do and, and achieve all the things that I want to achieve. Uh, thank you so much for joining me and be on the lookout for Q&A Wednesday, um, including, I'll give you guys a sneak preview, uh, a question about Mandy Leon, pizza, music, and more. Stay tuned and I'll see you guys later this week on my YouTube channel and do not be uh, do not be shy. Comment below with your thoughts on today's uh, Motivation Monday and don't forget to check out my video about A League of Their Own TV series. Talk soon everybody.